So, how are you feeling today, Monty? You like the sunshine, don't you? You know what? That's why old people move to Florida. It warms the bones. <laughs> All right. Look at the leg. Oh. Come on. Yeah, come on. Good boy. Yes. Hey, would you remember Tom Carter? Sure, I do. He owned that big quarter horse ranch across the valley. He was a friend of Kate's dad. Yeah, best friend, in fact. But they always pretended this big rivalry they had going over, he could raise the fastest horse. Wasn't there an annual race? Uh-huh. First of July every year. One year it'd be here, or next year over at Tom's. It was a kind of a picnic day. <laughs> Tom and Mr. Dern would be bragging for weeks about their horse before the big day. And then Monty would win the race. Yeah. Uh, we knew when Monty was just a colt that he had him all beat. And we kept him a big secret till he was old enough. Then after that, it just became the annual Monty Beats Tom's Best picnic. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for today, Monty. Hey, Fang. You think Monty's got a few good races left in him? Come on. You gotta move. If you don't move, you'll seize up like a rusty old engine. Look at the way Fang is watching Kate. I think he'd been through this before. Katie, you want to try telling him it's the 1st of July? he won't get better. It was a free evening in the town. I finally get to take Maggie to the movies, and I... Dad? Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. I wanted to take her up for dinner after the show, so I wanted to borrow a couple hundred dollars, and then there's the Caribbean cruise, so I'm going to have to hitch up for a few thousand. Dad, you're not listening to me. I'm... Yes, I am. You can forget about the money. 
I'm fine about the cruise. What are you, uh, what are you making? Well, I decided to surprise your mother tonight with Coquille Saint-Jacques. But I'm gonna need your help. It's definitely a two-man recipe. Sure. What's the occasion? No occasion. I just thought she needed some cheering up. Monty? I think Fang understands what Mom's going through. Hey, Fang? I think she's finally realized that he's not going to make it through another winter. She's going to have to put him down. Yeah. That's a drag. Mm. Um. All right. Let's cook. Onions. How was your day? Me? Well, I still haven't discovered a cure for old age. Come on. Hello. Hi. Wow. Huh. What's all this? I know it's a mess, but it's gonna be. Coquille Saint Jack. Oh, I love it. But why? It's a token of our esteem, Mom. Because we love you. Hey. <laughs> At the bar. I guess I'm gonna be seeing you in a couple days, all right? Tell you what, huh? I'm on the subway. I'll think about you, okay? Hey. Monty. Come on. Yeah. I don't feel like apples either sometimes. I want you to hang out with mom, all right? Spend some time with her. This whole Monty thing, it's... You know. Uh... Come on, Dad, I'm gonna be late. Uh... Relax, we got plenty of time. Listen, can you do me a favor when you're in the city? Yeah. Sure. I ordered a watch for your mother. It was something she saw the last time we were there. This is the jeweler's address. Think you can pick it up for me? Yeah, sure. You know, Dad, a watch isn't going to help any more than Coquille St. Jacques. It's really not what she wants. Yeah, I know. What she wants is for Monty to be young again. She wants to step out of the house and see him galloping over the hills with your grandfather in the saddle. I'm afraid I can't arrange that. Listen, uh, don't worry about anything. Have a good time, Mike. I will. 
It's just you and me, Fang. Come on. I think Monty might hang in for a while after all. He was actually out for a run today. As soon as it turns cold, you know that, Katie. No, I've been thinking about it. You know, as long as he can enjoy his summers, I can get him through the winter. I just have to put a heater in his stall. I can bathe his joints. I can even put him on painkillers if I have to. You think he's going to be happy standing beside a heater all winter? Remember what he was. He still is, Hank. You have a defeatist attitude about this, and I'm getting sick of it. Let's take a break, Hank. That's a nice deal. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. case where you just don't know? Mm, I do. And I'm sure I've made a few bad calls in my time. But I've always believed that you have to err on the side of compassion. Ah, I guess that's what Katie's trying to do with that old horse there. With Monty. Uh -huh. Oh, I think Kate knows what she has to do. No. Nope. She's hoping to get it through the winter. She's making a big mistake, and she sure ain't doing that horse any favor. Be right there. Okay, Kate. All right, I gotta go, Monty. It's my turn to cook. Off you go. I want to finish this before dark. Oh, it's the year 1889. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Martha Reeves brought this table all the way from London along with her two so. Good. That's good. That's good. It's going to be um, a tragic story. Martha crosses the ocean only to discover that... Uh, that her fiancé had perished in an avalanche. No, it's a happy story, because... Because on the train, Martha had met this man, a fur trapper, and they fell madly in love. I see. True love prevails, and you get your happy ending. Yes. <laughs> happy endings. Kate. I want to talk to you about Monty. I think you're making a mistake. 
I know what I'm doing. Do you? Yes. Seems to me that you're torturing yourself and the horse. Do I come to court and tell you how to do your job? Come on, Kate. Come on. You're doing everything you don't believe in. You're interfering with nature and keeping an animal alive by extraordinary measures. He still has good days. He's responded well to that heat wave. Kate. It's going to turn cold tomorrow. You're doing this for yourself. Not for the horse. I know. But at least you got a few good days in the sun. <laughs> Bonnie likes you up there, Kate. You want to help take care of him? Yeah, he's beautiful. Hey, sure, it's a lot of work.
How was the trip? It was great, Dad. Mm. Uh, where's Fang? He's with your mother. Monty? He's gone, Matt. How's Mom doing? She's all right. She's sad. Yeah, I guess so. Mm. Picked up the watch. Dad, it's beautiful. It got wrapped. Yeah, I think I'm going to hold on to it until her birthday. Somehow it doesn't seem appropriate anymore. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go see her. Yeah, I think that's a good idea.